Philosophers call beliefs like this properly basic beliefs. They aren't based on other beliefs. Rather, they're part of the foundation of a person's system of beliefs. Other properly basic beliefs would include belief in the existence of the external world, uh, the reality of the past, the presence of other minds besides your own. When you think about it, none of those beliefs can be proved. How can you prove, for example, that the world was not created five minutes ago with built-in appearances of age, memory traces in our brains from events that we never experienced, food in our stomachs from the dinners we never really ate? How can you prove that you're not a brain in a vat or a body lying in the matrix wired up with electrodes and tubes uh, by some mad scientist who makes you believe that you're here in this arena listening to this lecture? How can you prove that that person sitting next to you really has a mind rather than being a soulless android who just exhibits the external behavior of someone with an interior life? None of these things can really be proved. These are just properly basic beliefs which we have. Now, in saying that these beliefs are basic, that does not mean that they are arbitrary. Rather, they are grounded in the sense that they're formed in the context of having certain experiences of the world, in the experiential context of seeing and hearing and feeling certain things. I naturally form the belief that there is an external world of objects which I'm sensing. So my basic beliefs are not arbitrary. They're grounded in experience. There might not be any way to prove such beliefs, but it's perfectly rational to hold them. In fact, you'd have to be crazy to think that the world was created five minutes ago. You'd be mad if you really thought you were a brain in a vat. Such beliefs are therefore not merely basic, they're properly basic. Now, 